Hey gang, Night Tiger is having a contest. He wants us to use a superhero team that isn't the Avengers, the X-Men, or the Justice League and make a movie pitch using actors from any era. I will use the Fantastic Four, and yes, they've become synonymous with box office poison, which is why I'd pull a Spider-Man Homecoming and do a light-hearted Simpsons-style story with them already established instead of doing another effing origin. Just like Homecoming never mentions Uncle Ben, I would never mention the accident that gives them their powers. And as in Invisible Girl, I would have Sharon Stone from 1983. Pretty much any Sharon Stone would do, but this photo's from 1983. And for the Human Torch, I would use Buster Crab, direct from the set of Flash Gordon. Specifically this scene. Yeah, I mean, uh, as Mr. Fantastic, I'd get Hugh Beaumont, best known as the father of the beaver, and no FTC, that's not a vagina reference, but I'd use him from his film noir days in the 40s. The thing would be CGI, but I want his voice to be nice and street savvy, but with Jewish characteristics, and also sound like it's coming out of a six-foot rock monster. So I'd go with B. Arthur. For She-Hulk, I'd go with a young Jean Tierney. But you'd have to CGI her in because she's only like 5'5". Five five. As the voice of Herbie, I would get Ace Ventura 2 era Jim Carrey. And you thought Herbie was annoying before. And one of the villains would be Annihilus, and I'd have him portrayed by Peter Cullen doing his car voice from Knight Rider. A lot of the cartoons, they want to give him like a copy of Starscream's voice, but I would give him Optimus Prime's voice. And the other villain would be the Super Skrull, and I'd have him voiced by Andre Brower, because he's very underrated. And the Super Skrull is actually posing as She-Hulk, because he wants to get into the Baxter building to open the negative zone, to get to a nihilist to steal his cosmic control rod. Because the process of making a Skrull a Super Skrull would be this costly, excruciating procedure. Rewriting someone's genetic makeup over the course of weeks should be fairly painful. So the Super Skrull wants to use the cosmic control rod to instantaneously modify the scroll DNA molecules and turn every scroll hidden on Earth into a super scroll. He's fiercely loyal to the scrolls and he doesn't want them to go through the same procedure he had to. And yes, he could just destroy the world with a cosmic control rod, but he doesn't want to kill any of the hidden scrolls. Scrolls revealed in this movie make up about 2% of the population. But Reed actually knows this plan and he's just playing along, trying to get the location of the hidden scrolls. And you'd have various hijinks and such. Oh, it'll be great. So thank you to Night Tiger. Thank you for this contest. I'll have your link in the description and at the end of the video. And you may be thinking, how can you have a Fantastic Four movie without Dr. Doom? Because I know that some executive somewhere would get a rewrite on the script to make Dr. Doom part of the accident that gave the rest of the team their powers and his armor would be his transformed skin. They've done it twice because every single lame Hollywood script has to have the hero and the villain share an origin. In the 89 Batman, it's not enough for Batman to create the Joker, the Joker has to be the killer of Bruce Wayne's parents. In X-Men Origins, Wolverine's gotta fight his brother. It's gotta be his brother. I wouldn't even have Doctor Doom go to college with Reed Richards like in the comics. He'd just be this outside malevolent force with his own motivations. But he'd want the same thing as Reed. Sharon Stone's hot body.